Welcome to the Anatomage Table Tutorials. What is Anatomage? It's a trip inside the human body. With a 50 micrometer resolution, Anatomage employs four accurate photorealistic 3D full body cadavers of two females and two males with their physiological functionalities. Let's go together and explore the wonders of and adventures of this trip. Upon clicking on Anatomage, this list appears. Let's go into the gross anatomy first. So upon clicking on gross anatomy, I can see the four cadavers. I will choose male full body, which I have done already just to save on time by clicking on it and then clicking open. It would take a little bit of time, so be patient, please. Remember, this is a 50 micrometer resolution of the cadavers, or you can double click on it. When this is open, I can see the brightness and the contrast in this button here. Upon Decreasing the brightness, I can be taking off the layers. So I took off the skin. Now I can see the bones. Also, I can take off the bones. And then they made with the veins. Let's play with the contrast a little bit. So also, this would allow me to see more or less of the cadaver body. Okay, let's go first to the setup or the properties. The layout shows me how these tabs or knobs are set. By default, they are to the bottom left. If you wanna change them, you can do that. I'm used to this, so I'm gonna keep it the same. Then you can adjust the text, adjust the colors, there is the life. Did you see when I moved the contrast, there was the blood, uh, passing through the vessels and the veins and the arteries, it was showing. Upon clicking this, it shows or not. Learning assistance. So if you click on some organs, it might give you the definition or what is it. The structure pronunciation can be enabled or disabled. Skipping the left. So for example, if you have left ventricle, right ventricle, you can skip on the left and right thing. These are the options like the image control, the pin placement, which we do need for them to be there, cutting and measurements, according to me, to show you more about them. And then I would click them or not click them, enable them, enable the spinning of the cadaver and enable the ruler. After this has been set, let's go into each and every knob. The very first one under the book, is this one, which looks like a rectangle and next to it, two other rectangles. The very first one shows me the cadaver as is. The second one would divide the screen for me into two parts. And this part in which I can go down to the toes, up to the head, neck, and the skull. As you can see, this orange, line determines for me where I am. Additionally, I can add here some CT or MRI. So this divides again the screen into three more, uh, into a third more column. Again, I can play around with the brightness and the contrast. I can choose from how to see this CT or MRI as well. Let's figure out the third knob. Ah, this one is only a 2D thing in which it lays out the cadaver for me and I can go deeper or not deeper. The fourth is the one that gives me images about histology. And there's the eye thing. Oh. We were at the histology 
part of the layouts here. You have to select one body organ or structure so that it appears on the right hand part or the right part of the divided section of the screen. Then you can select from the images. And then you have the annotation, which gives you information if present about the image itself. Also, you can select from the options here to go to the histology part of the anatomatch table, which we're going to tackle in a different video. Then the fifth one is about the physiology. So it takes us inside the paths of some of the organs of the body. The second button is like the hand, and it's actually the pointer tool, which you can select to be an arrow, a circle, the hand, and you can change and play around with the colors. You can choose it to be small, medium, large, depending on your preference while you are teaching anatomy. This camera thing will take screenshots of what you have reached so far, especially when you write information. And remember, upon writing using the pen, which is the very next tab or knob under the camera, it would not be following the cadaver. So if you spin the cadaver and you have written information over one organ, it will not follow. So remember to screenshot it and then you can spin around the cadaver the way you want. I'm going to show you how. You can take snippets or crop. The other one is, and it saves as a JPEG and a PNG is the pen tool. As you can see, there are different formats. Again, I have the settings of the pen. So say I want, I just turned the cadaver. I want to label here or write something here, which is the, um, I'm terrible at using the, the four head. So if I spin, I have to unclick it again. So if I spin my cadaver, can you see the label or what I have just written is not an annotation of that part of the cadaver. So make sure, and you can also use the text here. So make sure to screenshot whatever you have written before you take it off. Let's try to, this is entering the text and let's undo 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 or you can simply click clear the measurements so if i want to measure how much uh, a tumor size is of course it's not going to be that this huge hopefully uh, this one tool is very helpful the pinning you can use multiple styles many styles and you can use up to 10 you can annotate them and you can also play around their direction. Annotate them as one, two, three, four. Now let's close this and try to spin the cadaver. This will be pinned to it though, unlike the pen. Going on to this section, this shows me how the cadaver is placed. So this is face to face. This is on the side. The other side from the head. 90 degrees. And I play around again with the brightness and the contrast. I like it to be this way only. This is the dissection button and the clipping button. What's the difference? It's between the clipping and the dissection. These two buttons next to each other. As you can see, one is not clickable. How can I make it clickable? I come to this heart and I select the 
heart beating, which makes this enabled or I can now use it. Let's go into clipping first and I'm going to select it by using the first one. And when you do this and it's lit, it means you can use it. So I'm going to do a straight line. Apparently it was not selected. A straight, uh, a straight line and then removing the whole part of the body that I don't want. And as you can see, you can see through what I have cut. And if you go again into, you can see this uh, the, the layout here on the second knob. You can see how you can go about the cadaver vertically. But then, that's not the case. The dissection here, I have three types. The straight one, and let's get back to the original form. Before I select it, I would turn the cadaver. So if I select the second one, which works like the clipping, this would allow me to remove layer by layer and this section. I want this section to be removed layer by layer and not the whole sections like in the clipping. This takes time and upon removing layer by layer, you will be notified the, about the layers that you are being, that are being removed. And if you have the, select the structure to remove the layer by layer. And if you have the, it's annotated and you can hear it if you have the voice on. How about selecting the dissection, which is the uh, curve-like or the wave-like, it would allow me to do the part that I want to dissect. And again, if I select it, again, I can remove things layer by layer. This is concerning the red dissections. What about the green one? It's between the clipping and the dissection. These two buttons next to each other. As you can see, one is not clickable. How can I make it clickable? I come to this heart and I select the heart beating, which makes this enabled or I can now use it. Let's go into clipping first and I'm gonna select it by using the first one. And when you do this and it's lit, it means you can use it. So I'm gonna do a straight line. Apparently it was not selected. A straight, a straight line and then removing the whole part of the body that I don't want. And as you can see, you can see through what I have cut. And if you go again into, you can see this, uh, the, the layout here on the second knob, you can see how you can go about the cadaver vertically. But then, that's not the case. The dissection here, I have three types. The straight one, and let's get back to the original form. Before I select it, I would turn the cadaver. So if I select the second one, which works like the clipping, this would allow me to remove layer by layer in this section. I want this section to be removed layer by layer and not the whole sections like in the clipping. This takes time and upon removing layer by layer, you will be notified the, uh, about the layers that you are being, that are being removed. And if you have the Select the structure to remove the layer by layer. And if you have the, it's annotated and you can hear it if you have the voice on. How about selecting the dissection, which is the uh, curve-like or the wave-like? It would allow me to do the part that I want to dissect. And again, if I select it, again, I can remove things layer by layer. This is concerning the red dissections. 
What about the green one? So if my topic is about cardiovascular disease and I want to just see the heart, what would this do? The green one. It wouldn't be removing layer by layer now. Let's see. It would be removing the whole section as is. And if I can do the contrasts and play around with it, I have lost the whole cardiovascular thing. Let's play around with this one now, with the eye. What does the eye give me? The visibility. This gives me the systems that I can be working with and all of them are selected. Say I just want the cardiovascular one, so I'm gonna remove everything else and keep the cardiovascular system. And it is narrowed down by category. So if I wanna select the larynx and, oh, not the respiratory, sorry, only the cardiovascular. So if I wanna select the heart, the cardiac veins, the veins. So I want to select everything in the categories. And then it breaks down the categories further into the structures. As you can see, I can see an A and a rainbow-like circle button. The A gives me the annotation. And this one gives me that I can now see the structure colored differently. So as you can see, this part of the, the heart, which was not dissected, is now changing into green, red, blue, or you can choose any other color that you want. And you can play around with its, again, brightness and contrast. So you have to click on A to get the annotations of what you want, and you have to click on the circle to get the colors that you want upon this structure. If we had the cadaver still there, this is a creepy one in which you can, the, the part of the eyes, the eyes follow you wherever you go. Or to select only the cardiovascular system. And I'm going to select the heart. Why is it not selecting? Probably because we don't have this button on. So now, as you can see, it is selected. So always check for this heart button with the second button being there, clicked. So now I can see the heart only. What does this also allow me to Play around with the brightness. With the contrast. And then I can go again <coughs> to the categories and select A on annotation and on the color I want it to show as green. There you go. Other options here, and I can change the colors of the heart to be different just for me to differentiate it from others, other systems. So again, I can put the other systems there, but the only annotated section will be the heart. I'm going to remove the skin again, the muscular, so that it would pop up from the rest of the organs. The other sections that I have here, the one, two, three, allows me to look into the presets that are put into the anatomatch table. Next to it here is the like uh, papers with the head of the female. They're like flashcards. This is the quiz and a game in which you can put in the game, uh, the anatomatch table set horizontally for two people, for two groups or set of players to be competing against each other, or the quiz, which can be pick me flashcards, multiple choice, and highlights. It would give you the, for example, let's go into pick me, start, it would give you the results 
but it's if you don't um, if you don't customize it, it would give you a huge set of uh, questions. Confirm. So I'm just playing down now, and then skip. I want to skip this one. When you're done, you say close. Yes, I want to quit. It gives you how many incorrect, how many you skip, total number of questions you have answered, and the time. That's it for the uh, gross anatomy part. Let's meet in the other video for the high resolution